These focal basses headphones are 800 bucks. Are they worth it against the competition? Let's see. I really like to listen to music while working. And while I would say that I have a pretty nice audio setup in my office, I'm currently in the market for some nice headphones that I can toss in my backpack and use whenever I'm on the go and, for example, go working in a co-working space, which I do occasionally when I feel lonely here in my office. With this in mind, I began my quest to find the best Bluetooth headphones for me and for that use case. So the contestants for this shootout are the uh, Bauer & Wilkins PX8, the Sennheiser Momentum 4, the Apple AirPods Max and obviously the Focal Bartis. To be clear, I bought all of those headphones and I will return all of them but one, which I will then use as my personal headphones for the use case that I just outlined. But which one will it be? While I like good quality music, I wouldn't consider myself an audiophile or a headphone reviewer. I'm just some dude enjoying good quality music while working and writing code. So there will be no measures and things like that. But I will rather provide my honest opinion about those headphones as just an ordinary Joe. The shootout will take place as follows. I will compare all of the headphones with the Focal Bartis and not so much with each other. Because if I would do so, then this video will be probably like two hours long. I will compare them using the following categories. And in the end, I will give you my two cents and will finally tell you which headphones will stay with me. So let's start with the first category, scope of delivery. All headphones come with nice cases except the Apple AirPods Max. This case is just awful and I have no idea what Apple was thinking. Also, all headphones include the cables required for charging as well as a 3.5 mm jack to be used wired. Only the Apple AirPod Max do not include the 3.5 mm jack. Since all cases are perfectly fine, except of course the Apple one, there is no clear winner here. They will all do the job just fine. And for the Apple AirPods, you can get a third party one off of Amazon if you like. They are not horribly expensive, but it would have been nice if yeah, that case wouldn't be so awful. Let's compare the build next. The build quality on the Focal Battles is rather nice. They are built mainly out of metal and the overall feeling has a sense of quality and sturdiness. There is one plastic element around the cups that contains all the controls for the headphones. And also the middle part with the Focal logo is also made out of plastic. There is one gripe that I have though. At least the ones that I got make some not so nice and weird noises when I twist and wiggle them around. To be honest, I would have expected a bit better for a product with this price tag. Build-wise, I would say that the Bauer & Wilkins PX8 and also the Apple AirPods Max feel more premium than the Focal Batis. There are less weird noises and overall the build feels and looks a bit more premium, at least in my opinion. The Sennheiser Momentum 4 are made entirely out of plastic and feel cheaper than the other ones. That being said, I would still say that the quality is there. I would not be afraid of them breaking on me. It's only compared to the Focus, the build is considerably less premium feeling. Regarding comfort, let's first talk about the weight of the headphones. The Focal Bathys coming in with about 350 grams. Only the Apple AirPods Max are heavier with 385 grams. The Bauer & Wilkins PX8 are slightly lighter than the Focal Bartis with 320 grams and the Sennheiser Momentum are the lightest with 294 gram and it's probably attributed to the full plastic build of those. With that being said, does it make a difference while wearing them on your head? Not really. At least for me, this is the least important factor as long as they are comfortable overall. For me, there are much more important factors like clam force on the headband or the depth and form of the cups and things like that. 
So where do the Focal Batis land here? What I like about the Batis is that they have rather deep cups. I sometimes have the issue with my ears touching the inside of the headphone and over time this leads to some discomfort. This is not the case with the Focal Batis. Without having it measured, I would say the Batis are the largest in terms of cup size from the bunch. The Apple AirPods coming second and the Sennheiser Momentum are the smallest. But even though the cup size of the Bauer & Wilkins PX8 is smaller than the one on the Focal Batis, I have to say that I quite like the comfort of the PX8. I would say the clump force is slightly higher than the one on the Batis, but not that much that I would say that it stands out. I can't really put my finger on why I like the fit of the PX8. Maybe it's the materials of the padding in the cups, but yeah, I like them. The clump force is quite comparable with all the four headphones. At least for my feeling, there is none that particularly stands out. If I would need to pick my favorite two in terms of comfort, I would pick the Focal Batiste and the Bauer and Wilkins PX8. Well, looks are even more subjective than fit and comfort. I included this category since I think that over-ear headphones are also a stylistic accessory, especially when worn outside. So this is how all of them will look when worn. This will maybe give you an idea how you will look while wearing them. The Focal make the biggest statement out of the bunch. They are quite in your face with this fancy grille design, their size and the illuminated logo. By the way, the illumination of the logo can be turned off in the app if you don't want that degree of bling. The Bowen Wilkins PX8 and the Apple AirPods Max both look more premium and more classy than the Focal Batis. That being said, the Sennheiser Momentum 4 have a look to them that doesn't draw particular attention towards you or the headphones. When compared with cars in regards of style and design language, I would say that the Focal Batis are like a Ferrari. They're quite exotic and when you see one, you kind of have to turn your head and check it out. The Bauer & Wilkins and the Apple AirPods are more like a classy Porsche 911. It's quite nice and you have a look at them, but it's not quite a head turner. Whereas the Sennheiser Momentum 4 are more like a Golf or something like that, because yeah, you see stuff like that all the time, it's nothing special. For the ANC test, I put on a video of cafe sounds and tested how much gets filtered out by the headphones with and without music playing. The Focal Battles being Focal's first attempt on ANC headphones, I was a bit skeptical about the performance and I have to say, my skepsis was somewhat justified. While the Focal Batis do a good job with noise cancellation, they have the weakest ANC out of the bunch. The Apple AirPods Max being the absolute king, followed by the Momentum 4. But does it matter when listening to music? I put the music at a comfortable level I would also use when working. When listening to things I like to listen to, that is for example melodic death metal like In Flames, I have to say, I don't hear anything of the background noise with the Focal Batis. But when I for example write scripts for my YouTube videos, I tend to put on some focus playlist with calm and classic music. And with that, the background noise is bleeding through with the Focals and not so much with the others. I would still say though, that it's not to a level that would hugely annoy me, but it is what it is. Okay, now the big thing, sound. I think this is the main reason we are looking at those premium headphones. So how do the Focal Batis perform in terms of sound? 
I A-B tested all of the headphones with the Focal Bartis, listening to my normal music as well as focus music. So the same music I also used for the ANC test. As the source, I used Amazon Music HD. I would say the Focal are the most different sounding of the bunch. The Focal Bartis are the most open and airy sounding from all the headphones. It somewhat almost feels like comparing closed back headphones with open backs even though all of the headphones are of course closed backs, but I hope you get the idea. The other headphones feel much more intimate. Whether this is good or bad depends on your preference, I would say. The, the Focal are also the most neutral and with the clearest high end. The other headphones feel a bit more pushed in the midst compared to the Focals, which doesn't mean that the Focals lack in bass or punchiness. I actually really like the bass on the Focals it is just more delicate than with the others. I would say that the sound is the area where the Focals separate themselves out the most from the other headphones. Not that the others sound bad, but the Focals are just so different sounding than the others, I quite like that. I also have to say that I was slightly underwhelmed by the Momentum 4. I've read many reviews hyping them up and wanted to give them a shot, but for me, they are just way too bassy and also lack in terms of resolution compared to the others. Of course, they are also the most affordable, but I didn't like them very much, even if we take the price into account, which we will talk about a bit later. I would say the closest of the headphones to the Focals out of the headphones that I've tested here are the Apple AirPod Max. The Bowers and Wilkins PX8 have much more body than the Batis and are more in your face sound-wise, while the Batis are more laid back. But the PX8 are still brilliant sounding and the resolution and details are very good. In terms of my personal preference, I would say for my usual music, which is metal, I preferred the Apple AirPods Max over the Focal Batis. For the focus music and things like classic music, jazz and things like that, in my opinion, the Focal performed the best. So the point is for music that is more in your face, like for example, metal, electro and maybe pop music, the Focals sound a bit thinner and are not as punchy as the others. Now let's have a quick talk about apps and other features. So first of all, the Focal app sucks. It begins that I had to Google which app to use since the app is called Focal and Name and I wasn't sure whether this is the app I need for the headphones. And the next thing, the app disconnects from the headphones after every action I do in the app. Don't know what's happening. The good thing is that I usually don't use the apps. I set it once like I need it and then control all the things from the headphones. And I'm really grateful that I can control everything besides the EQ and the LED lights directly from the headphones. I had no problems with the apps of the other headphones though. The Sennheiser app looks the most mature and I have to say that it has the most features. But as I said, I usually don't care that much about the apps. One feature that the Focal Batis has that the others don't, at least that I know of, is the duck mode. While all headphones can be used also wired in a passive fashion, the Batis can also be connected to a device using an USB-C cable. For this, the headphones need to be switched into duck mode. This enables them to use the built-in DAC and amplifiers to play the music and using the USB-C cable for a lossless transfer of the music to the headphones, effectively eliminating the needs for an external portable DAC and amp combo. This increases the audio quality slightly since it eliminates the shortcomings of Bluetooth. One thing to note is though that the headphones are not charging in this mode even though they are connected via the USB-C cable, but they rather drain battery in this mode. Price-wise, the Focal Batis are the most expensive of these headphones. They are 799 euro, while the PX8 are 699. The AirPods Max are about 600 euros, but can sometimes also be found cheaper. And as I've already said, the Sennheiser Momentum 4 are the most affordable with a price of 350 euro but those can also be found for around 300 euro currently. So the Batis are at least 100 euros more expensive than the others. Are they worth the price? And which ones will I keep? Well, whether they are worth the money, everyone needs to decide for themselves. And yes, I know this is a cheap answer, but how am I supposed to know what your preferences are? I can only talk about mine 
and yours might vary. So the focal batteries are in very good headphone and differentiate themselves the most in terms of sound from the others, in my opinion. If you prefer a more open and airy sound with the bigger sound stage and the more neutral sound, then yes, those are the ones for you. If you want something a bit different and unique in terms of sound, because you maybe already have a pair of other headphones, then yes, the Focal Batis are for you. If you prefer a sound that is more in your face, then the Focals are probably not the right headphones for you. That being said, which ones will I keep? I will actually keep the Batis. I really enjoy the open sound. I use real open back headphones in my office and really like them. And the Batis come the closest to that sound while still being closed back and offering a not so great, but okay ANC. Also, the Batis are the most comfortable for me. I'm not a big fan of the looks of the Batis, I have to say, but since I don't use them usually when I'm taking a walk in the park, but rather when working in a co-working space, I don't really care that much. I much more prefer the looks of the Bauer & Wilkins PX8. All right, I hope you liked this video. And if so, it would be great if you would go completely nuts on that like button. That would really help me out so far. See you in the next one. Bye.